Just to have a whole style in your head that you're coming to a lace frontal sewing appointment. Stay tuned for a get ready with me story time. Remember, like, comment, subscribe. I'm gonna see y'all later. Y'all don't mind my hair. It's just in a pineapple because I need it that way. But, um, I don't want corporate because I need it on my face. So, the first thing I'm gonna do is my brows and my lashes. Y'all know I'm not good with putting on lashes, so if I have to step to the left off camera, don't judge me but how y'all been like what's been going on like how's life what y'all think about this election year like what you think about 2020 as a whole because i'm still trying to figure it out like what is really going on so i just thought about it while i'm doing this get ready with me why not make this a story time now I did ask on my Instagram one time, did y'all wanna see more story times or like mukbangs? And I think for that, the mukbang had one, but I had this story time cause it like just recently happened to me again. So I wanted to make it. And I've been like, when am I gonna make this story time? When I wanna make this story time? I didn't have time to really like sit down and make it. So today I got time. This was probably one of my like first five clients that I started taking back when, you know, everything was like, okay, y'all can start doing business again, just sanitize, da, 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 da. Cool. I took this client. Um, we're gonna call her. Pam. I don't know why, but Pam. We are gonna call her Pam. This client came to me. I don't honestly remember if she found me like off Facebook or through my Instagram or, you know, I really don't remember what she found me through. So either way, she ended up booking. So she booked me and everything. She booked for a lace frontal sewing, y'all. Not a lace frontal wig, she booked for a lace front so sewing cool 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 she made it to the appointment on time i remember i didn't have no problems with her arriving until she got there and i was realizing what the heck so here's a little backstory before i actually have my space that i have now that i do hair in i used to do hair out of my room in my house like my room is a decent size but it's still not big enough for it to be like a lot of hair things going on, two people, my bed, you know, that's a lot going on in a room. So it just already wasn't big enough. Um, I didn't have all my supplies and everything still laid out in my room where I can get to it. So it just made it harder for me to do certain things. And I'm saying this because cool. Fast forward, she arrived. She didn't have no problems with She told me she was there. I'm pretty sure her appointment was in the evening. I think I'm gonna go with these lashes today. I lost my other lashes just now in the mat, but I'm gonna go with these. But yeah, so she arrived. I don't believe she arrived late or anything. I believe she arrived on time. Um, when she arrived, I'm gonna just say the first things I noticed about her. Um, one, she had on scrub, so that led me to believe like you was a nurse or you know you worked in some type of um field where you. You know, you're around people, you can't, you take care of people, you know, stuff like that. No, like, okay, cool, like she a nurse. Second thing that I noticed, that should have been a red flag, which is why like this person is, might be a headache, but you know, you don't judge a book by its cover. Well, you know, I agree all my clients with the same energy. Like I have good energy. It don't matter if I'm doing here in your room, in my room, in the front living room, upstairs, downstairs, outside, we gonna have a good time. Like I'm gonna talk to you, I'm gonna make you feel welcome i'm gonna make you feel comfortable like that's just the way i was raised and that's how i want people to feel around me just in general like i don't want nobody to feel anxious around me or something like that this is the first red flag because when um she came to me it was a little late so 
I didn't really notice her walking up. Like I said, I just noticed her scrubs as she was walking up to the door. So I'm coming to meet her at the door, which I meet all my clients at the door. I walk all my clients out. Like, that's just, especially you in my house. Like, you know what I'm saying? Cool. I look up. She got her bundles in her hand. But you still have a whole style in your head that you're coming to a lace frontal sewing appointment. I'm sorry, y'all. Um, as of now, I am one of those stylists who says, please come wash and blow dry. Or either just come wash, that would help me. And I could just blow dry your hair, but at least come wash, you know what I'm saying? Like I can deal with the blow drying part, I have that. But I don't have an actual sink in my workspace right now. And I'm that's on the way, but at that time, I wasn't even in my workspace, so like, it was really hard then you know you're a client i don't want you really walking through my house you know just trying to keep boundaries like that's just something i just ask of my clients and most people don't have a problem with that because for one it's already in my booking like i already asked that even before i had a website i asked can you please come wash and blow dry cool i'm pretty sure either way if she didn't book on my website i stated that regardless and i still booked her through my website because for one I've been having my website for a year, so I always refer back to my website regardless if you're contacting me through Facebook, Twitter, whatever. I'm still going to send you a confirmation email through my website. Okay, so boom. She come, she got a whole nother style. When I say a whole nother style, yeah, I'm talking about the extended ponytail, slick down, caked up gel to where like it's very hard for you to peel up. So I'm just like, yo, like, now I'm mad because I'm like, if you was going to come like this, at least tell me, like, hey, like, you know, you could have been coming straight off of work, like, hey, I can't show up work. I don't really have time. I would have rather you wash your hair at the house or tell me so I can be prepared to wash your hair, you know what I'm saying? Like, prepare my family to be like, hey, I got a client, I have to wash our hair, so, you know. So it won't be so awkward me just walk through my house with a client and I gotta wash our hair out in the open. Like, that's a lot. Like, y'all, that's a lot. So I'm just like, you know, dang, like in my head, I'm like, wow. Like, I'm just looking at her hair as she's sitting in the chair at this point. I'm just like, wow, like, what the heck am I am to do? Like, I don't know what to do. Like, as y'all can tell, I'm really lost for it. So I'm like, what the f I always have lash complications. <laughs> Y'all might have to do this off camera. Cause for one, I can't be taking pictures and it's not right, you know? Like, I'm not about to be bringing glue to go take pictures. Like, ghetto. Oh, ah, the ghetto. The ghetto. The ghetto. Anyway, where was I? Um, so okay, I'm thinking in my head, like, what the heck should I, should I do? Should I go wash my hair, or you know, because I'm like, yo, like, I'm the type of stylist, I'm all about hair health and like foundation when it comes to installs or your natural hair. I, be I firmly believe your install or like the base of your style makes your style, like, however, you start that style is how. That style's gonna come out. You get what I'm saying? You come with a slick down style, extended ponytail, glued. Your ponytail was glued. It wasn't soaked, so I couldn't just clip it out. Um, it was glued, so I had to unravel it. I had to, you know, maneuver all through that glue and all through the through that. Um, I, I can't even think right now. You know the the stuff they use on your hair to protect your hair from the glue that um yeah so like i had to do all of that take her hair out through all of that and still was left with a head full of um product hair like like y'all it wasn't moving like it was slick like you know y'all saw one of my 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 slick videos like or any of my slick videos like you know bro if you use that much like you're gonna have to like wash it all honestly but let me just tell y'all, because since I was already blown, I'm like, that's the only thing I really asked for at that time. And um, 
and if my policy was to just come washed, I didn't do it. Like, I did not wash her hair. Oh my God! Wow! Oh my God! I didn't wash her hair. Cause for one, I felt like you came to me. I don't know, like, I don't know if she thought I was a salon, like, actual salon which i mean i don't know but i specify in my booking and everything to please come wash and blow dry so i don't know reading is fundamental that's just i'm gonna just say that's on me whatever so i didn't wash her hair whatever either way her hair still came out bomb and i'm gonna leave it right here right here because still came out bomb and i'm talking about the initial install and the touch up this is why i'm so upset let me put this lash on Y'all don't judge my lashes. I'm gonna fix them. But anyway, um, so yeah, I didn't. I ended up didn't wash her hair. Um, <laughs> I did not wash her hair. Like honestly, and I don't. I really don't feel bad about it because, um, after her initial appointment, she showed me who she was. Was so I mean, whatever. I really don't care. Um, yeah. So I ended up then washing. I didn't wash her hair. I'm just gonna touch up my line curls, really the ends of my hair, cause I don't really do too much heat. Um, this is on blow dry hair as well. If y'all want a real, a real like tutorial, let me know. I put a poll on my Instagram just now, literally before I started recording. So go, go answer that. So yeah, so I ended up then washing her hair. I went through all the steps the same steps I would as I would do a, a person who came to me wash and blow dry. I still managed to braid down disgusting, nasty, um, caked up gel, um, edge control, dandruff, whatever you, you may have it or whatever you want to, you know, say that was in there. Anyway, um, yeah, so I still managed to give her a decent braid down. I still added hair to her braid down because you know what I'm saying? Like, you're not giving me a lot to work with. So, okay, cool. Did all of that. Bro, you, I still felt very tried because I'm like, you put, I still felt tried because you put me through all of that and like, you really didn't have the common courtesies to, to really like wash your hair at least. Gave her a braid down, boom, wiped her forehead off, you know, cleaned her forehead off and everything. I had to, y'all. I really had to. Even though I do that anyway with any of my other clients, like, I clean y'all skin off with um, alcohol because I don't play that, like, and especially, like, you have to have a clean face, really, to install lace. Like, you can't install lace on top of sweat, foundation, grease, edge control you can't do that so you got to keep wiping it off e even though okay you braid and you put edge control you gotta still wipe it off like you gotta still wipe it off because it, it won't it won't lay it won't lay in my experience in my opinion it won't lay anyway let me get out the front two pieces of my hair and y'all gonna see why i'm so so upset so upset now at this time i was not charging nowhere near i still not charging what i should be charging for a lace frontal sewing honestly if y'all want to be if y'all want to be honest like i'm the type of person for one like i was well i'm fairly new to the hair game like i know what i'm doing when it comes to hair but i'm not like certified in it you know what i'm saying like i definitely know how to make things look good like that's what i know how to do but either way, I'm still not charging, in my opinion, to wear or to um, what I should be charging. Um, at the time, I was charging 85, I believe, 85, 80 or 85 for a lace frontal sew-in. And I was charging even less for a lace frontal wig install that was a lace frontal. So, okay, boom. You already, but you getting a deal. That's a deal. Because I already require a $20, 20 um, deposit 
for it to hold your appointment and to secure your appointment date and time. So at the end of the day, you already paid me $20, $20 of your ending payment. So let's calculate this. If your payment, uh, if you booked the service for a lace front to sew in at the time with me, which was $80, $85, you paid $20 deposit, right? That leave you with $60, $65 left at the end. Boom. Cool. Oh, okay. It don't look that bad. I'm just touch it up some more. But yeah. Um, so you do that. Cool. So, okay. I, I was already, you know, doing, um, accepting less for the quality of my work. And I know I still have a long way to go, but I can't sit here and say like, I don't think I do well on other people's head. Like, I don't think my clients and the loyal clients would keep coming back to me if they felt this way. Because I've had some of my clients say like, you need to raise your prices. Like, or like they will literally tip me what I should be charging. And for those clients, I appreciate you because, you know, thank you for, believing in me allowing me to do your hair trust me in your hair you know treat your hair because it's more than just about making you look pretty like i want your hair underneath to like to grow like y'all know i'm all about hair growth like for real anyway y'all can go buy my hair growth it's eight dollars only i can ship wherever just let me know in my store below so back to the story okay i didn't braid her hair down Put the cap on, molded the cap down, ball cap, cool, she wanted glue. Boom, okay, cool, she wanted the glue way. So, molded the cap down, started, you know, laying the glue out and plucked her stuff up, make it look cute, lay it, boom, 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 we done, take pictures, boom. Boom, take pictures, like, this is our picture, she's cute. She's cute, and that's on period, like, it's cute. It can be better, trust me, I know it can, but it's cute, cool. She paid me, I believe she paid me with Cash App, y'all. No, she paid me with Zelle. She paid me with Zelle. I swear if I could go find my Zelle transactions, I would pull up her name. But either way, whatever. Mind y'all, like I said, this happened months ago. This is almost the end of 2020. So this real current thing that just happened made me bring up a living. Boom, she paid me through Zelle. She paid me the rest 60, 65 through Zelle. That was no problem, right? Cool. Let me let me rewind it. Okay, cool. Y'all know I said the first appointment she had. Oh my god, my bag is stuck together. Y'all remember I said the first appointment she she had with me. It was cool. She paid me through um. She paid me through, like I said, um, Zelle went about her way, took pictures and everything. It was cute. Cool. Now. This one, I started having a problem with her. Um, well, this this is the second red flag. Besides her coming with her hair not washed and everything and taken down, at least, this is the second red flag. Now, she put the second appointment to get her hair maintenance. I have a service called Lace Frontal Maintenance Appointment. And that's, I will literally refresh your Lace Frontal, refresh your whole sew-in or whatever, style it differently, everything. Lay it down, everything. Like, it's your first so, and I'm gonna show y'all, this is her second, this is the second appointment, the the maintenance. So, come on, come on. I did I did a good job. Now, let me tell y'all again how I used to belittle my prices. Lace frontal maintenance, I used to charge $20, $20, twenty dollars, twenty dollars, twenty dollars. Boy, if you don't get like $20 sweetheart. I was trying myself and that's the, I feel like this is why she felt like she can try me on this on this second appointment. This is a lace front sole maintenance appointment. So she already booked. Like I said, $20 deposit. That's all my deposit is. So if you have a service that's $20, you book, you already paid. So you just gotta show up to your appointment. Basically, you know, getting a getting a style, getting a free style, a whole free service. That really still gonna take like an hour 30. Okay, okay. So, for one, I wish I had the receipts for this. Um, so for this lace frontal maintenance appointment, her appointment was at five o'clock, I remember it so well. Her appointment was at five. 
cool. Like I said, I always send a message an hour early to my clients just to give them a heads up. You know what to do when you get to my house. My dog still don't have my house. She's not even here at five. She texts me. I don't even know, but I already gave a 10 minute grace period at that point. Um, so like, you know, you, you show up at 510, you good. Like, I understand stuff happens, it's traffic, whatever, whatever, whatever. Now, 515 and all that, you get charged with a late fee because now, regardless if I have a client after you, I might have something to do after you, like something, you know, you just never know. So like, it's just about my time. So, she didn't get to my house at 5 30. And already in the message I sent an hour before, like I stated, if you show up such and such and such, which that's in my policy regardless, like you saw that. You get emailed and you see it before you actually book me. So you see my policies. So yeah, um, she got to my house 5 30. I already was telling her, like, you know, it's gonna be a late fee. This is before she actually pulled up at 5 30. Like, it's gonna be a late fee because you're 30 minutes late. Like, regardless, I don't care if you just come and get your maintenance. Da, 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 da. Now, what I noticed when she pulled up this time, she didn't have on her scrub. So, to me, like, you was just chilling. Like, you wasn't coming from work. The first time, I'm like, I don't understand. Okay, cool. Your hair not washed because you didn't have time. You came straight for work. This time, you were regular, regular clothes. So, like, you had time to make it here on time. That's all I'm saying. Like, I don't care. If you don't, if you can't get somewhere on time, don't put that time only for your appointment like just book another day when you're not doing nothing at all i would rather that like you know what i'm saying but okay cool she get at 5 30 you chilling bro i lay her thing back now like i said i already said to her it was gonna be a late fee i charged 15 dollars late fee at that point and i already gave you a 10 minute grace period so boom do her hair bro again y'all it was cute i don't care period you come here you leave you don't tip me. You don't say you got the late fee or nothing. You just leave. I don't hear back from you for days. Had to text you like, hey, can I get this late fee? Nothing. Second day, talking about sending your cash out, but you paid me through Zelle. It's um November, right? It's November. You come back. You um you didn't text me. You booked an appointment. You booked for a lace front to sew in. Now, honestly, my prices have went up. I have went up $20 on maybe all of my services. And now my lace front to sew ins are $100. Like, a lace front to sew in take long, y'all. And I'm the type of person, I'm not gonna rush because I want your stuff to look cute. And that's on period. So, now my lace front to sew ins are $100. You booked and, um, at the time when she booked, it was, I was doing somebody else's hair. Then, like, two to three other girls had booked uh, in the same day or, like, the next day for, like, the next coming days or, like, the next week. Boom. So, I'm doing hair. I probably was braiding. I think I was braiding at the time. I'm braiding. And um, I see, like, on Victor, so I'm like, okay, cool. Bet. Like, I'm looking at the days, like, okay, cool. I got to I gotta do hair on this day. You know, get myself mentally prepared. Like, that's what I got to do. No problem. Um, come the, the day before I did the first girl who booked and then normally when I just see people book, I just make sure I go on my app and like check like, okay, they come in this day. Um, before my clients appointments, always, I always send up uh, the same message to every client before their appointment, an hour before their appointment, just to give them a heads up on instructions, like upon arrival and all of that. Boom. Y'all will see because I got the receipts right here. So yeah, so okay, cool. So um, in her booking, like y'all, I'm gonna let y'all see it. She stated, um, she asked a question about, cause she used the same lace frontal that she had last time. It has a hole like in the top middle. Now, honestly, when she first booked, I didn't see that. I didn't go looking for it. Cause if it's something that urgent, I feel like you could have you called me. But she did. So not only did she not call me, she just left it in and she's like, hey. It's okay. And when I saw her, I'm like, bro, that was something so minor. But if you would just text me, you would have 
You could have been like, okay, yeah, whatever. But I still text you an hour before your appointment to say, da, 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 like when you come, da, 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 da. You didn't bring it up. So now you're trying to make it seem like it's my fault that I didn't say, it's cool for you to bring this. But why would you even still wait until it's super late to even call me to your appointment time? Like, you call me stupid late. I'm probably trying to plan to come late again. Cause after I hit her with the, with the, you know, you come late, it's gonna be late for you, right? Then that's when you wanna reply, but you ain't answer. Nah, none of them times I'm texting you. Not, not one. Make it make sense. So you're talking about, oh my God, I gotta cancel my appointment. Um, I wish you would've told me that. So I, at this point, I was, I was just being nice, but I'm like, girl, I text you and everything before. I'm like, now you're trying me. I'm like, you gotta let me know. Because I talk to my clients, don't, don't try to do that. Like, I don't respond. Like, what? But okay. So, yeah, yeah. And this lady's trying to scam me again. She didn't pay my $15 late fee the first time. And she tried to come back again. No. Please stay away. Yeah, I'm going to finish my hair. Yeah, I'm gonna come back when I put on my clothes. Like, I feel y'all. Third time, oh, shorty trying to scam me. Well, she scammed me in the first time. Well, the second time. She tried to scam me a third time. I don't know what's going for that. All right, y'all, so I'm back. I'm finally all the way dressed. Y'all wanna see my outfit? Hmm? 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 I'll show y'all my outfit real quick. And then, we done. Let's, I don't mind the food right here. So this is the fit. The rift it. For every 21. Video, like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next video. I love y'all.